Alrighty, our next step is to uh, to remove the. Um, <coughs> if let's see if I can get it in here, is to try to remove. is to try to remove uh, this little piece down here. That little piece, uh, remember, goes down to um, <clears throat> to the uh, low speed adjustment that comes out the face of uh, the motor, uh, of the cowling of the motor. And so uh, this little piece is gonna come out. It has like a little E-clip, so, uh, and a wave washer behind it. So if you take a pair of needle nose pliers, and again, uh, be careful with the, uh, the uh, Excuse me. Be careful uh, with, and try not to damage it. So what do you do? You do is you take the needle nose pliers, and you we're going to lift up that little e washer out of there. Okay, and that's what's holding that little piece in place. There we go. All right, little e clip here. If you can see it in my hand, little e clip and the wave washer. Okay, try to remember how that goes back and don't lose them. And so, uh, let me go put that on the bench. Alrighty, so now I can take this little piece and slide it back. Okay, now that I can slide it back, It's a little stuck. Okay, and then this little piece up here, you can slide this off just like this, gently, okay? and pull that and just lay that off to the side down at the bottom here okay just lay it off to the side all right and then i've already pre uh, loosened okay both of these okay remember uh, over on the other side here i remember I, I pulled back that little linkage here and then uh <clears throat> i went ahead and unscrewed that bolt so i'm going to do that now And again, other people can uh, uh, do things in slightly different ways. This is how I do it. Does it mean it's the uh, the absolute way to do it or the correct way to do it? Uh, there's more than one way to you know to skin a rabbit. All right. So I've loosened this up here. Oh yes, I've forgotten. Uh, this also, uh, it, it helps to take this off right here. And also the low speed needle. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to be removing these two bolts right here. I mean these little two screws here and here. And I'm going to be re removing the low speed needle as well. And if you loosen the packing nut here, it can make it a little easier to take the needle out. Hopefully you can see this and I don't have my hands in the way all the time, but it's kind of hard to do this in film. I'm kind of by myself. Okay. 
and gently remove it. It's a nice straight needle, okay? Nice straight needle. So I'm gonna place that on the bench so it doesn't get damaged. Very important. And uh, this right here, I'm gonna use that little ratchet that I was telling you about. It makes it a lot easier to do that. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm just loosening it up here. I know it's kind of hard for you all to see. Remove that here. Move the other one over here. Now be careful when you remove this, there are little spaces in between. Some of them are loose and uh, some of them are fixed, okay? Okay. And so that way, we'll just leave this part in here. It makes it a lot easier to, uh, if we can, just turn, move it to the side here. Again, trying to make everything as simple as possible, all right? And we should be able to remove our carb. Now, uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to remove this right here, um, the fuel hose coming from the fuel pump. Okay, let me put the carburetor down and let me get a hold of, uh, let me put some of these screws and everything away. And again, you can see the gasket on here, okay, it's still in really good shape. If you can see the gasket in the back here, it's still in really good shape. So you don't have to put a carb kit in a carb every single time. And I'll explain a little bit later why. Um, if the motor is, you know, new to you and it's just downright dirty, then uh, then maybe that is a, 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 a possibility. And again, I'm replacing these little things back here and here. So uh, we can use them later. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and remove. Okay. Now adjust this back just like this. If you can see what I'm doing. It should be off of the, the fuel nipple. And I'm just remove I'm just pulling it off here, just like this. There we go. Alrighty. And the hose that is going to this is a 316 hose is coming from the fuel pump. Okay? So I've got this off. And this carb looks pretty clean, but that doesn't tell us what's inside there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, turn this off, <clears throat> and then I'm going to restart when I get everything ready on the bench. Okay?